everyone, and uh, welcome to Spot of Color's first online demo. My name is Hannah Eichen, and I am the owner of Spot of Color. We just opened on Thursday, uh, and today we are going to talk about our line of natural earth paints. Uh, these are natural pigments that we are using to mix with uh, walnut oil to make artist grade oil paints. These pigments can also be used to make all kinds of other paints, such as watercolor tempura, egg tempura, um, anything like that. Uh, I'll be going over some of those later on uh, in other videos to show you how to make that. But today, we're making oil paints. So these come in a little plastic bag. We've got several colors here. Uh, and we also have a color mixing chart to show you what exactly all of these will do. I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, so what you do with these dry pigments, uh, you need a glass palette to mix this on. Plastics just don't work as well. The glass really makes sure that your pigments are coated in the oil. What you need to do is pull out just a little bit of pigment, tricky in the bag, set it on your glass palette, kind of create a mound in the center here so you don't spill over. Great. Uh, once you've got that on your palette, you want to create a little bit of a hole in the top, like a little volcano. Tricky to keep it all stacked. Be good. Volcano. Now we are going to use this uh, refined walnut oil. This is sold by Natural Earth Paints. Um, this is used over linseed oil because it is less yellowing and it also gives you a longer working time. It takes longer to dry. So just open this up. Now there is no exact recipe uh, for these pigments because each pigment needs more or less walnut oil. Uh, every single one is different. So you just kind of have to play it by eye, just figure out what works for you. Um, I can give a quick list of the best estimates for you to start with, uh, but it's really gonna come down to your personal preference. And it may be different every time for you. So I'm using a straw to just scoop up a little bit of this so I don't waste walnut oil. And just dribble some into that mound right in the center where I made that volcano. It's going to spill out a little bit like a volcano would. <laughs> Great. Now you take your palette knife and you just start mixing it together, smooshing it together. You're trying to coat every single bit of this pigment with oil. I started out with just a little bit, so I'm going to need to add a little bit more here. It's still pretty dry, and you want to do it a little bit at a time, because if you get too much, it sucks because you have to add more pigment. And then, like when you're eating chocolate and something salty, and you get some salty, and then you need some more chocolate, and then you need some more salty. I'm sure, we've all done it. Great. <laughs> Mixing it together. You really want to smash it down and get every bit of that pigment in there. Smoosh, smoosh, smoosh. This is just mixing just like you would any other kind of oil paint. And you just want a nice thick paste consistency. Get all of that as some these outer edges. Great. And I'm going to pick up the camera in a moment so that you can see exactly close up what this looks like. All right. So let's zoom in here on. Whoa! <laughs> Great. So you see this like creamy, smooth consistency of paint. Great. So this is going to be almost exactly like any tube paint that you can buy in a store. Um, the only difference here is that this is very pure. You're not getting synthetic materials in there. You're not getting fillers, preservatives, any of that kind of stuff, um, which does mean that this does not have as long of a shelf life. But since you're mixing it for each project, uh, that's not really an issue here. Um, now, 
let's see, what else do I need to tell you? <laughs> um, along with using your palette knife, a lot of people will use this. This is a glass molar. We sell these in store. Basically what you would do with this uh, is stick it onto your palette and swirl it around to make sure every single last bit of pigment is coated in oil. Because if you don't do that, you're going to have a little bit of an issue with your paint. Um, so you really want to make sure it's coated. Now, that takes a little bit more effort to clean, whereas with this palette knife, you're going to be using it to paint anyway. So here's a trick for how to mix that without using, oh, let's do it this way, without using the molar. What you want to take is this flat edge of this palette knife, this flat bottom, and you stick it onto your palette and you just swirl it around nice and flat and just smoosh it in. And that is going to help you make sure without using the molar that every last bit is coated. Just make sure you got a nice smooth, happy paint. Great. One of these days I'm going to do this in person so that you can really see it. But since we're in this uh, small pandemic here, you're going to have to do with the video for now. All right. So I'm going to show you how this paint now um, applies to a piece of palette now that it's all mixed up. Um, when mixing this, you can mix it to whatever consistency you want. If you like a thinner paint, mix it thinner. It's up to you. Uh, if you like a thicker paint and then you like to work with each brush stroke being a slightly different consistency, you just take your brush and you dip it in your walnut oil and just mix it with a little bit of paint here. Just load your brush up and then you can just paint on your palette. like that. Beautiful, bright color, very luminous. Another benefit of these pigments uh, is that they are natural and so they have a slightly different consistency on each little granule of pigment. Uh, with the synthetics they're all exactly the same. So when light hits the synthetics it's really flat. With the natural pigments it's going to bounce off and look very luminous and lush and beautiful. Another benefit of mixing your own here is that you are using solvent free stuff. So with some of the pigment, some of the paints that you get in tubes, they can off gas for years, um, especially if you're using things like turpenoid, turpentine, things like that in with it, it will off gas. There's no off gassing with this because we have a product called this EcoSolve. It's a solvent free, but you can clean your oil brushes with these. You can clean up your oil paint. It's, uh, it's great stuff, non-toxic. It can go down the drain. Um, I personally try to clean out all of my brushes, let the dry, pigmenty stuff sink to the bottom, all that thick, gooey gunk, uh, and then remove the liquids and then pull out those dry bits from the bottom of that container so that you're not washing the stuff down the drain. It's natural. It's fine if you do. Uh, but personally, I like not putting a strain on our sewer system, our pipes, our water management people. Um, yeah, just be a team player. And try and help everyone out. Great. So that is how you mix it. It was super easy and super fast, right? Um, we sell all of these things in store. Here is the color mixing chart. I have marked the ones that we do have in store with little black stars so you can kind of see uh, the different colors that you can create from these pigments. Uh, we do not carry the full line at the moment, but uh, hopefully we will be expanding to cover those last few things. We do, however, carry these two colors, Brilliant Yellow and Emerald Green, which are not on this color mixing chart, uh, but they are really bright colors. So I'm just going to show you, that's the Brilliant Yellow. Really bright color, right? And this is the emerald green, also really bright. Now I also want to show you 
how on your palette this looks pretty dark, right? That's pretty dark blue. It's gonna look darker on your palette in a large glob like that. But as you put it on, it lightens because you're not getting a solid block of paint. You're getting a little bit of the color underneath poking through as you thin it. Now, if you want to keep putting it on thick, you'll get that dark. Um, yeah, so that is natural, natural earth pigments. Um, they're more luminous, they're more long lasting. Uh, they are archival, they're durable, they're naturally UV resistant. Uh, they won't crack, uh, they won't off gas. So many benefits to mixing your own pigments. And we have it all here in our store. Our online store just went live yesterday. Um, we're working out a few kinks, but we are selling online. You can buy all these things online. You can pick up in store or curbside. Um, as things progress in the news, we may have to start opening up to shipping and delivery, um, but we will keep you posted on that. <laughs> so thanks for stopping in and watching this demo. If you have any questions, comment below. I will either answer them there or create a new video if there are lots of questions, people are confused about how to use them. If I didn't explain something properly and you're just, you just need help, let me know. Um, you can email me at contact at spotofcolor.com or you can connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, our website. Um, you can also sign up for our Chroma Club on our website, which will give you early access to classes once we can start offering those in store again as well as some specialized discounts for our Chroma Club members uh, and just uh, information on sales and different things happening in the store. So thanks for tuning in uh, and I'll see you next time.